I have, I've been working for three years. I'm self-taught. I'm, I'm a web developer, so your database stuff, uh, PHP, JavaScript, um, client and server. Uh, I'm interviewing for Amazon SD2 like next week. So I got to do some testing design. Um, yeah. It's good. So how is your, uh, coding skills? Are you doing the uh, Amazon recently asked Amazon questions and um, yeah, so my coding is probably my best part. I do about four um, interview IO questions a week. Well, I interview other people. Uh, yeah, my coding skills are probably the my greatest asset, I guess, because I do a lot of these. Um, I don't know. I think I'm good at it. Okay. That's good. That's good. So, sure. Uh, so let's jump to some system design problems. <clears throat> so, uh, I want you to design a system mm -hmm. which can give me a unique ID. Okay. Just the okay. unique ID. And we can uh, extend the requirements as we go through. Yeah. Create a uh, system which can generate a unique ID. And it has uh, to be and not just a single caller. It will be like distributed. System. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, so, uh, so let's create this and we'll give me unique ID. So, uh, distributed system that gives unique ID. So the first thing, okay, distributed. So geographically distributed. So let me put that geographically. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be geographically distributed, but. So um, let's, let's start with uh, generating yeah. a unit ID, and then we can extend the requirements towards that. Okay. Um, so yeah, unique ID, uh, no one's allowed to have the same one. My first, uh, I mean, the simplest thing to do if it wasn't distributed is have a single counter, and whoever asks for a counter, uh, and the counter is an atomic value, and whoever asks for the counter uh, just locks it. I guess it's an atomic value unlock it. But, you increment it and go home. Uh, you increment it, take it, and go home. So that's the easiest way to generate a unique ID. Um, so I should ask, like, this unique ID, is it being called by um, internal API? So is it, uh, is the unique, I'm gonna call it unique ID service being called by clients? affect my answer so okay so it will be called by the clients so clients will be calling our service yeah. to have a unique mm -hmm. okay um so okay so first thing is or i guess we'll do uh first solution point with atomic value with There's an instruction which increments and also returns. So you return the incremented value. Uh, and I don't remember what it is. Uh, I remember writing Golang a while ago. We had this instruction. So value. That's the increment. And so it's an atomic. Uh, in this scenario, so you don't have to lock it. Uh, so what do you mean atomic work. here? What is an atomic oh, value? Um, yeah. Uh, or, yeah. I'm just going to Google it because we got to this part of the giant system design. Um, look, so let's do it. Atomic counters. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay, so 
or do you think you have a table right table in the background and this will increase the counter the frame key the key one in the counter right so you have the last id oh, no. okay right how about that okay so the centers okay um yeah I'll finish my sentence about atomic. So it's a it's a value that oh it's a terrible idea for a distributed system. Um, okay, uh, atomic is a value that uh, if there's multiple threads running on the same computer, uh, if they both access it, they will not collide. So like uh, an update instruction will not like collide with a read instruction. But okay, right. I've been given a super big hint. Go with the table. Um, okay, um, next solution is. Table with a primary key. The same rest endpoint increments the, or no, uh, insert uh, record and is given uh, the auto increment key. So, wait a minute, this is a table. 